for SiliconANGLE coming at you live from the Microsoft booth at CES 2010. Well, I'll be focusing mostly on video reviews. I wanted to bring a little bit of the experience of CES and a little bit of the magnitude and the grand scale that you can find here at CES and some of the excitement uh, to you by just a, a walk through some of the booths. So right now I'm going to take a walk through the Microsoft booth, not focus really on reviewing any products, but just get, try and capture a little bit of the experience and the energy that's here at CES 2010. Again, this is the largest conference in Las Vegas. It's a little bit of a larger than life experience, so hopefully you can capture some of that in this walk through. So you can see here we have the actual one one part of the Microsoft booth. It's a, it's a large booth as you'll see as we walk through and we'll take a glimpse of what they have here to offer in the Microsoft booth. So here they have some Bing and some MSN terminals allowing people to get some exposure to Bing and MSN. One thing we learned last night at the Balmer keynote is that uh, Bing and MSN are now going to be the default homepage and search provider for all HP PCs in the future. Uh, we have uh, some demonstrations of the new Office 2010 happening here. You can see as large of a convention center this is, it's still 110,000 plus attendees here, so it's still a uh, very crowded site a very large size of the Las Vegas Convention Center. So over here we have Zune and Zune HDs on display. You can see the Zune and accessories being showcased here. Microsoft Surface, I have a separate view on this, but this is actually very cool to play with. You can see it can be controlled by gestures, quite a very uh, cool, very um, production quality. I'm surprised, I've been a little bit surprised at how functional the Surface is, but I have a little separate clip of that. A display of all the, the uh, newer Windows mobile handhelds on display here to play with. Microsoft Media Room section, of course this makes me jealous because you can't only have Media Room if you happen to have a service provider that provides Media Room, which right now in the U.S. is only AT&T U-verse, so you have to live in an area where AT&T U-verse is available. When I live here in Las Vegas, all is with Embark and Century Tel, I'll be the last person on earth to get anything cool provided to my living room by a service provider. You can see the media room on display here. And of course, we have Windows Media Center just on display here. One of the more robust and um, future proof, if you will, uh, applications to bring internet content into your living room or television content to your computer. You can see the, some of the press area upstairs yeah, across the walkway here. We'll go across to see the Windows Auto, Microsoft Auto section where they have some of the new Microsoft Auto applications on display. So you can see the new Ford Taurus on the, and what they're what they're demoing here is the new Ford Sync applications, which we are, are actually uh, Microsoft Auto is, is getting more and more contracts, and they're getting deploying more robust features all the time. So we have Ford, Fiat, uh, a new partner for Microsoft Auto over here, Kia, and then they've got this uh, large Dewalt branded uh, F250 or F350. That's F350 here on display in the Microsoft Auto booth. So now back to 
get finished the rest of the Microsoft booth over here. Next section is Windows 7. We have Microsoft reps here displaying the various features of Windows 7. We've got device experiences and what they're demonstrating here is for Windows 7. They're showing how different how it has expanded its feature set for capability with different types of devices. Other Windows 7 features have new, newer netbooks on display here, all of which run full versions of Windows 7. This new smart book here from Fujitsu, the Lifebook UH900, and the full version of Windows 7. And as you can see here, compared to the size of my hand, it's not much bigger than a smartphone. It, it, uh, it's definitely something for, for a, a a female you could carry in your purse. Guys, I don't know, you're out of luck. <laughs> and we got just a, a little getaway room in here, if you will. There's not, not really any Microsoft products in display, but just a little bit of a serene atmosphere. Some of these wall panels that dance when you touch these interactive buttons and make music being powered by these overhead projectors here. And, you know, We're almost done with the Microsoft booth here. And the last section is the Xbox section. Of course, one of Microsoft's flagship products. I have an experience wall here with lots of uh, pictures of different Microsoft experiences surrounding the booth. And that is it for the Microsoft booth. Hopefully bringing you the experience here from CES at the Microsoft.